Hello guys, my name is Bob the Veil Guy, and we're here to test the improvements of firmware updates that Escort has been releasing for their M5 series of digital radar detectors, which include the now discontinued Escort Passport Max, the Escort Passport Max 2, and the Beltronics GT7 series of radar detectors. And what we have been looking to uh, evaluate here and observe is that if in fact Escort have made improvements to their advanced filtering out of the K-band collision avoidance systems that are now very uh, common on today's highways. And those systems are comprised of uh, lane departure systems, adaptive cruise control systems, uh, collision avoidance systems, auto braking type systems that rely on K-band. Now these uh, systems are basically like a frequency modulated continuous wave uh, form of K-band, uh, which is centered around 24.1 gigahertz, but it actually extends beyond that. And historically, radar detectors, to be successful at even having a chance at filtering these systems out, have relied on timing delays in their filtering escort started with the escort TSR traffic safety rejection uh, Valentine ultimately came up with a TMF and TF2 which is traffic monitor filtering Whistler has come up with TSFR uh, traffic uh, flow sensor rejection TFSR uh, Redenso also has a rejection capability we haven't looked at that one yet but uh, really what we wanted to see here is if Escort is in fact fulfilling the promise of providing advanced filtering uh, of these systems or rejection of these systems without the penalties, either timing delay penalties or uh, you know, effectively reductions in distance and detection ranges or sensitivity, however you want to look at it, with the more conventional TSR delay filterings that were out there. So what we're going to do is I have two Escort Maxes here. We have one with an older version of firmware called version 1.8, and we have a, their most recent version 1.11, uh, and we're running both of these detectors with a TSR off, so and in highway mode. So what we're going to do is we've been doing multiple runs here. Now this isn't entirely scientific, but we've been sitting here running a, a series of. Uh, how should I say, detections over a period of five minutes, five minutes for each firmware version of detector, which would be version 1.8 and then 1.1.1. And we are counting how many alerts we have during that period and for how long those uh, alerts uh, last in duration. Okay, we are running version 1.8. This is our fifth run. With, uh, this one has TSR off. K band. First alert. About 28 seconds in duration on that first alert. Second alert. Okay, 
16 seconds in duration. For alert two. Third three. Okay, band. About 31 seconds on that alert. It's our third alert. It's our fourth alert. Fifteen seconds. Duration on the fourth alert. Coming up to four minute mark and we have about a minute left. Fifth alert. Okay, oh, we have a state trooper pulling up behind me. Lovely. We're okay. We're okay. It's cold in my plate. We're going to have a visitor here in a minute. Okay, we have about 20 seconds left. Hopefully we'll finish this before the officer gets out of the car. That's our fifth alert. Okay, band. Actually, I think that's our sixth alert. I think he got his lights on lovely. This should be interesting. 513. Sir. How you doing? I'm just Good, uh, checking on you. Pardon? I was just checking on you. Make sure oh, no, I appreciate that. No, I'm just testing uh, some electronics here with these uh, okay. adaptive okay. cruise control systems. That's Stella. Oh, okay. I'm saying hi to her. Okay, All right. All right. Thank make you sure for uh, stopping. I do very much appreciate it. All right, you take care of yourself. Very cool. Come on, sweetheart. So there you go, the hazards of doing real world testing. Nice officer though. So there you go. Okay, we are running version 1.11 of, uh, this is our fifth run with TSR off on the Passport Max. This will be our last five minute sequence. We still have our friend behind us uh, with his lights on, but uh, I think we're pretty cool with our state trooper. Just checking to see how we were doing on the side of the road. And uh, we are running.
Uh, I should mention it's important in this state for this uh, filtering, especially important in Pennsylvania to have effective K-band filtering with collision avoidance systems. In fact, I would say it's critical because Pennsylvania is a state where only state troopers can run radar and there's no laser. The only form of radar now is K-band. It's been that way for years and now they have low power K-band. They can only run radar from a stationary position. There he goes. From a stationary position, which means that radar is almost always used in an instant on mode here in Pennsylvania. So if you're driving in this state, it's uh, critical to have a radar detector that effectively filters these K-band systems without penalty to either quickness in reaction to IO, bona fide IO, or uh, insensitivity effectively or range. So uh, I think this technology that Escort's been developing, this digital signal processing, advanced signal processing, spectrum analysis, whatever you want to call it, on the M5 and M6 detectors have really now proven two years later particularly and beyond how critical it is and perhaps offers distinctive advantages to just about every other radar detector that uses conventional filtering in the form of delays to alerting to K-band like a TSR or TMF. K-band. Okay, that's our first alert. Coming up to the halfway mark. About 10 seconds in duration. So when we're done these five series, it's going to be about 100 minutes total of testing here. Now it's not of course scientific, it's just uh, observational, but, but hopefully there's enough data collected here. Um, I think I've drawn some conclusions from it and uh, we'll go back and look at this data in tabular form, we'll put it up on our article. We'll see if uh, anything uh, is, uh, any conclusions can be drawn, at least uh, preliminary conclusions. But I think it's safe to say clearly the uh, software is uh, getting very effective from Escort with this uh, signal rejection. Second alert. About a half a minute left in this final fifth run. Version 1.11 with TSR off. Okay, I want to thank you guys for watching and I hope you found this uh, informative. And we'll be looking forward to more great things from Escort. Again, my hat's off to Escort for really, uh, it seems like this technology is really beginning to bear fruit. It's been two years since uh, the original M5 was uh, introduced, but uh, I'm very pleased to see that not only the original Max is uh, 
being improved, but the new Max 2, the Beltronics GT7, and the Max 360. So this platform M5 slash M6 digital uh, back-end processing really seems to be paying dividends for them.